How's it going everybody, my name is Boletus and welcome to episode 16 of my Minecraft Beta 1.5 Let's Play. So, today I've got a few plans, but one big thing that I want to do today just to mix things up because we've been working on stuff to be able to make those plant pods over that way and I will show you sort of what I've got planned for that, but I'm wanting to make like a fast food chain or a restaurant because there's been a few people that have asked for it and I wanted to make it out of bread and there's a particular reason for that and I will explain it to you once I have made it but to get that brick I had to go out clay hunting and of course I already did some clay hunting a while ago so I didn't there wasn't much clay very close to me so I had to go out very far that way and also very far that way but and you won't believe this I got 10 stacks of clay blocks plus 23 you know how long it takes to find that much. I also found a little bit of snow, but it was only like a tiny little patch for some reason. I couldn't find a big biome, which is really annoying because I also really want to get some spruce. So that's one other thing that I've been trying to do while looking for clay. But what I gotta do is I've gotta smelt this down, which will take a lot of coal or a lot of wood to smelt that all up. But before that, I need to break it down again. So <laughs> that's what we're doing right now. I'm just going to replace all of my stuff because while I went out even 200 blocks away I don't really want to risk it unless it's just like over that way with my diamond tools so I have some spare iron tools just while I am going out adventuring and I've got to find a nice flat space for that so may as well do it at the castle because that's nice and flat so I'll go over there now. Someone please remind me to make a bunch of spear minecarts. Even this is definitely not enough for all of this stuff, but it's better than nothing, so... Oh, shit. So let's build this up, and let's rip it back down again. <laughs> You know what? I think this is going to be more than enough. <laughs> Look at that. Shit. So, I'm just going to keep those clay blocks aside, just in case I need those clay blocks. These ones here for anything. I'm not too sure what I'll need them for. And I am going to make a chest. I'll actually make two, just in case. Just to store everything in. But that there is to store all of the balls that we will get from that. So, I'm going to sleep, and then I'm going to do that. That there is a lot of balls. Look at all of this. 
I am sure that that is enough. If not, then at least I've got this little bit. And also, where I was actually looking around, there was a little bit more, but my shovel ran out, so I was unable to get it. But I thought that the amount that I had was probably enough, and to be honest, this is probably significantly more than enough. But yeah, I hope that you liked that time lapse. But now we gotta go and start smelting, and I think that actually before we do that, I think that we need to get a little bit of wood and use the wood to smelt everything up. So I will be doing that, but I won't be doing a time lapse for that just because I did a time lapse of destroying all of this stuff. So I don't really want two time lapses back to back of two separate things. So <laughs> yeah, I'll be getting that wood and I'll be smelting everything up then I'll get back to you. All of the clay has been turned into bricks, and all of the bricks have been turned into brick blocks. So, now we can start making the thing, and I was hoping to get some wool because the specific thing that I'm wanting to make is partially white, but it's gonna be so annoying to try and get enough wool because I'll have to go around and find as many sheep as possible, and that's a big hassle. So I might do that, but I'm not too sure. But before before I do anything, I will show you where it is and the plan, and I'll show you what I have done with the subscriber village, because I have done some stuff with it. First of all, I've made this bit a little nicer with this beautiful entrance, and right here, a nice waterfall that goes directly underneath the pathway like that. And now, when we move through here, you can see that I have added a botanical garden, and it's just a nice wee thing, there's not much going on. There's two nice wee fucking places to sit, so you can sit right next to the water, and I think that there's such thing as fishing poles in this version, which means that we can go fishing if we feel like it. I've added in chests with minecarts to all of these places, and as well as that, I have built six more houses, so I've built these four right here, which are absolutely beautiful on the inside. They're the same as all the rest of them, and I will be furnishing the insides at some point. I'm just not sure how or when, but I will be doing that at some point, so don't you worry about that. I have also built these two right here, but I will be expanding this. I am planning on breaking down all of this hill here and turning this into flatland, but I am wanting to keep this shape here because I think that's quite cool. And maybe I'll build something on top of that which will look over both the subscriber village and also probably the mining town because it's just over that way. And as well as that, and I will actually be gifting some houses reasonably soon, but I just want to explain all of this stuff. This place here is where I will be building the building that we are making today, and I will be doing that shortly, but I'm just going to figure out a few people to gift these beautiful houses to, and I'll probably be doing two or three today, and I'll try to give two or three houses every episode or so. So, yeah, look at that. I'll actually climb to the top of this, just to show you how wonderful it looks, because I think it looks great. I'm very proud of it. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? So I will be wanting to build more shops than just this place here, and I feel like the shop that I'm making is going to look pretty fucking ugly, but I don't think that really matters. I think it's kind of funny to have an otherwise beautiful bunch of buildings and then one ugly thing. I, I don't know. I think that's kind of funny. And now for the gift giving portion of the video. So I've got two houses that I'll give away today and the first one is going to Digital Lemon 69 for the idea of the Aether Portal or Aether Portal. I don't know how you say it. Shit. Will it fit? It will fit. <laughs> and right over here, we'll be going to, I'm not sure how to say it, I'll just write it at T-K-O-U-T in channel, which also fits. And that is for the idea of changing to smooth lighting, which just makes everything look a little bit nicer because actually, if we turn it off, it goes like this and it looks all weird. So just turning on the smooth lighting makes things slightly nicer, or actually, I guess significantly nicer. <laughs> I think that is significantly li I My brain's going weird. Significant significantly nicer. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, thank you to both of you. And yeah, next episode, I do have two other people written down, but uh, those people, I am yet to actually implement their stuff into the world. 
But I'll actually now show you where I will be building this fast food building. Did I already? Sh yes, I did already show you. Never mind. I am stupid. But I do think that I will try and get some wool to hopefully get enough for what I am wanting. You know, I just had the thought if in this version, if string can actually be turned into wool, which I am testing right now. I've got a spider farm. I can always just AFK at the spider farm, do a bunch of killing, and then I'll have some wool. So I think like this. No, maybe nine. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> and I've got an idea of how I can actually make the spider farm a little bit better. I have an idea of what I may be able to do to make it so that I'm able to AFK the whole farm, which will make things significantly easier. I just do half an hour of that and maybe I'll have a decent amount of wool. So yeah, I'll show you what I will be trying to do once I get down there. So first of all, I've got to dismantle the farm, of course, so I'll be trying to do that successfully. Oh, bitches, aren't they? I'm hoping that's enough to dismantle it, and my thoughts are what I could do is I could use a cactus. So I'm going to try it out and see if it works, and if it doesn't, then I'll be very sad. <laughs> I probably should have also brought some of these fellas over here, but oh well. So let's have a look if we can... How would we do this? I'll just see if this works. It probably won't, but it might. Now? Why? Why is it so picky? On oh, that can't be there also. Shit. We will put it yeah, here then. No, that also wouldn't work. All right, I'll sort it out and then I'll get back to you. Let's see what this monstrosity does. Might do something or it might just have been a big waste of time. Oh, boy, stop. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. I said leave me alone. Oh, there's another one there. I'm stupid. Okay. There. There. And there. Alrighty. Let's see what that does. That looks like it might be working. In theory, all I need to do is stand here and after time, I'll get enough wool or I'll get enough string for a bunch of wool. But of course, sometimes the cactus will destroy the things, which is a bit annoying, but that's just inevitable. Easy as. I'll be sitting here for a while and see if it's even worth this because I've gotten, I think, one string at the moment. So yeah, I'll be AFKing for probably about half an hour. I've been AFK for about 10 minutes now, and I've only got, after that one, 24 bits of string, and somehow, one cactus. <laughs> oh, I can see, that works as a cactus farm. Oh, a stormy upstairs, but look at that, it's also functioning as a cactus farm. That's kind of funny, but 24 plus that five, that's 29, which is enough for three. So that's not very good, <laughs> but, but we've got 16 wool. I hope for around three stacks. So I have changed the design once again, as you can probably tell. First of all, I made the roof up here higher, which makes it so that they don't get stuck sort of around that corner. Or it seems like they don't get stuck around that corner as much because the roof up that way was far higher than like this bit here and also the bit in the water stream that goes this way. I also put the cactus off to the side, which prevents prevents as many drops from going directly into the cactus and I've made it so that the water can creep onto this block here which means that anything that would drop onto that block the water pushes it directly down and over here. I have also taken away a little bit of blocks here. When I had a block here every now and then some drops would get stuck right next to the cactus which is very annoying <laughs> so that's why I changed it I have gotten a decent amount of string though if I turn this all into wool you might realize that it's not as much as it looks if we do this I've got 49 wool and that is about two or three hours of AFKing and we've just got a little over 64 wool so it's not very good but 
it's better than nothing and if I'm not doing anything then I may as well just stand in this area right here but yeah that's where I'm at I am hoping to maybe get another stack and then we'll start building and hopefully that's enough I have no clue but we shall see <laughs> I am now out of the cave and I've got all of the stuff here and I got almost five stacks I thought that hopefully this is enough my plan is I'm going to have a look for some references just figure out an idea of what I am going to do and then I'm going to build that idea and yeah hopefully it will look nice so that's the walls done now I'm just going to do the floor I have also added a road that goes directly to it which I think looks quite nice so yeah I'll do the floor now and that's the floor done I made it out of stone I was going to do stone slabs just because I thought that would look better but the issue is that makes three and you cannot just put it like at the top you have to do that and then put on another one and that will just use so much stone just to do that amount so I decided to just go with normal stone so now I'm going to smelt up some more glass for the windows and then for the big bit the roof and there's the windows done and also the doors done so now for the big thing the roof which is quite an interesting shape so hopefully I get it right and if not then I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight <laughs> <laughs> Other than the fact that it kind of looks like a mushroom, I think that it looks quite nice. This looks like a fine establishment. All that it needs now is a few additional touches and stuff on the inside to make it look nice. Well, to make it actually look like a functioning restaurant. And then that will be done. So I'll be doing all of that stuff now. And yeah, then we'll have a nice wee shop. So look at that sunset. Absolutely stunning. And here it is. Welcome to Brick Donald's. See, I told you there's a reason why it's brick. <laughs> the menu. You can get brick 10 for one iron brick block five for three iron or bread 10 for one iron and I didn't really give much thought into why they are that price but as food brick is good for you I promise and I've got a chest back here and I've got two crafting tables the chest is empty but I'll eventually add some stock in it and also there's some tables with some beautiful chairs yeah I think it's wonderful I quite like it and that there is what this entire episode was about was this stupid bloody building but it's a beautiful building and I hope that you saw that the B is like the McDonald's M but it's a B but yeah I hope you all enjoyed today's video <laughs> thank you so very much for watching please like please subscribe all of that good stuff share it with a friend I bet your friend would love to see the brick Donald's and yeah I'll see you next time see you later also I almost forgot dog love cobblestone <laughs>